All right, be honest. How many videos are sitting in your watch later playlist right now? Dozens? Hundreds? And how many will you actually watch? The truth is nobody has time, but AI does. These new tools can rip through an entire 45 minute circuit tutorial and hand you the gold in less time than it takes to microwave popcorn. Hey everyone, I'm Jake Dawson and I've been testing productivity tools and AI apps for the past three years. I've personally tried out a ton of different YouTube summarization tools because let's be real, I'm obsessed with finding ways to learn faster and get to the point without sitting through hours of video. Today, I'm going to walk you through the top five YouTube AI summary tools that have completely changed the way that I watch and learn from videos. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which tool is best for you, whether you're a student cramming for exams, a professional trying to keep up with your industry, news, or just someone who doesn't want to waste their whole weekend catching up on their watch later list. Stick around too, because I've got some insider tips that will help you squeeze even more value out of these tools stuff most people don't even know exists. And by the way, if you ever want step-by-step -step templates, the ones that I use, or a place where you can ask me questions directly, that's exactly what we do inside my school community. So check it out. The link is in the description below. All right, let's start with number five on the list, which is Glasp. This is a Chrome extension and it's completely free, which is already a win. Over 2 million people are using it right now. And here's what makes it stand out. It doesn't lock you into just one AI model. You have access to ChatGPT, Claude, Mistral, and Google Gemini all in the same tool. That means that you can pick the one that fits your style instead of getting stuck with the same generic output every time. Now here's how it works. You install it, zero signups, no long forms. You just add it to Chrome and then you're ready to roll. The second you're on a YouTube video, Glass automatically pulls the transcript for you. No copy paste gymnastics. And then you can choose how you want the summary written. Want a quick general overview? ChatGPT is perfect for that. Want something more detailed? Claude will dig deeper. Or maybe you want a little creative spin. Gemini is your guy. It's like having different flavors of summaries depending on your mood or what you need. And one of the coolest features is the timestamp summaries. Let's say you're watching a long lecture and you just want the key part where the professor explains the main concept. Instead of scrubbing through the video like you're looking for buried treasure, you just click the timestamp in the summary and boom, you're at the exact moment. I use this all the time when I'm watching tutorials. It saves me from shouting at my screen, you know, where did they say that again? Another thing I love is the highlighting and note taking right inside the transcript. If you're someone who likes to capture ideas while you're watching, you can highlight and jot notes as you go. And when you're done, you can even export everything into apps like Notion or Obsidian. That's huge if you're the type of person who likes to keep all of your notes and ideas in one place. And here's a quick tip. Try running the same video through two different models, like use Claude and then use ChatGPT on the same video. You'll be surprised. Sometimes Claude picks up extra details that ChatGPT skips. And sometimes GPT gives you a cleaner, more straightforward version. It's like getting two perspectives on the same content and you can blend them together for the best of both worlds. So yeah, Glasp is simple, free, and insanely useful. Honestly, if you're just getting started with YouTube AI summary tools, this is a no brainer first stop. All right, number four on the list is Vomo AI. And this one's all about simplicity and accuracy. You don't even need to sign up to use it. You just grab the YouTube link, paste it in, and instantly you get both a transcript and a summary. No account, no password, no confirm your email nonsense. It just works and I love that. Now, here's where Vomo AI shines compared to YouTube's own captions. It's way more accurate. If you've ever watched a video with auto captions and thought, well, that's not what they said, you'll know what I mean. Vomo AI uses advanced transcription, so it handles context better, recognizes when different speakers are talking, and even nails the technical terms that YouTube captions usually butcher. One feature I think is super underrated is the Ask AI button. After you paste in a video, you can literally type in questions like, what are the three biggest takeaways from this video? Or explain the example at the 12 minute mark. Instead of reading a giant block of text, you get the exact answer you were looking for. It also supports multiple languages, which is huge if you're watching international content or trying to learn something in another language. And the transcripts themselves are clean and searchable with timestamps. So if you want to find a specific quote or idea, you don't have to dig through the whole video. You just type a keyword, 
click the timestamp, and you're right there. Uh, here's my tip though. Don't just use the summaries. Play around with that Ask AI feature because that's where the real magic is. For example, if you're watching a business strategy video, instead of just reading the summary, you could ask, what's the main strategy and how would I apply it to a small business? That way you're not just getting the info, you're getting in a way that actually fits your situation. Vomo AI is perfect for anyone who wants speed, accuracy, and zero friction. Honestly, if you've got a long tutorial or a lecture that you're dreading sitting through, this tool can save you big time. All right, number three is NoteGPT. And this one's like having a personal research assistant who never complains and works around the clock. The big thing that makes it special is batch processing. You can drop in up to 20 videos at once and it will summarize all of them for you. So if you're cramming for a test, preparing for a project, or just have way too many videos on your list, Note GPT handles it in one go. That's a massive time saver compared to going one by one. It also works with videos up to two hours long, even if they don't have subtitles. The way it does this is by using its own AI to process the speech. And while it uses up more of your quota when subtitles are missing, it's still really handy. For students or researchers who deal with long lectures, this is a game changer. In fact, one user even said it's the best summarizer that they've tried for lectures because it saves them from having to scrub through the whole thing just to find the important parts. You can also choose how detailed you want your summaries to be. Short, medium, long, and it supports over 60 languages. That means if you're studying content in another language, it can translate and summarize accurately so you don't miss anything. On top of that, it integrates smoothly with note-taking workflows, which makes it easy to move your summaries into apps that you're already using to stay organized. And because it's powered by ChatGPT and Claude, you know that you're getting top-notch AI handling the heavy lifting. Now, here's where it really shines. It doesn't just spit out a wall of text, it structures the information in a way that's perfect for learning and research. So instead of random bullet points, you actually get organized notes that make sense. I tested it with a few long talks and being able to skim the key arguments, supporting points and examples without wasting hours was a lifesaver. My tip with NoteGPT is to start with a medium summary when you're batching a lot of videos and that way you get the big picture without drowning in detail. Then if one of the videos looks especially important, go back and run a longer summary just for that one. It's like scanning the headlines before deciding which articles you want to read in full. If you're a student, researcher, or honestly just someone trying to digest a ton of information quickly, NoteGPT is built for you. It takes what feels overwhelming, like 20 long videos you don't have time to watch, and it turns it into something manageable, clear, and actionable. All right, number two on the list is 85, and this is one that I'd call the pro's choice. It's polished, feature-packed, and it's already trusted by over a half a million users. People like busy professionals, journalists, and content creators who don't have time to waste. What sets it apart from everything else on the list is that it doesn't just summarize the video. It also analyzes the YouTube comments and gives you a sentiment breakdown. That means it can tell you if the audience loved it, hated it, or thought it was a total waste of time. Honestly, that feature alone can save you from sitting through clickbait videos where the title promises gold and the actual content is, well, garbage. That way it works. It's simple, it's straightforward. You drop in the video and 85 gives you AI-powered insights, timestamp summaries so you can jump around quickly, and then this unique sentiment analysis. Imagine you're about to watch a 30-minute tutorial on how to double your sales with one simple trick. With 85, you don't have to gamble. You'll see right away if people in the comments are saying, wow, this was life-changing, or this guy just wasted 30 minutes of my life. That context is gold because you know whether the video is worth your time before you even start. Another handy thing is the one-click sharing. Let's say you want to send your team a quick breakdown of a video. You can turn the summary into a shareable article instantly. No copy-paste mess, no formatting nightmares, Plus, it works across desktop, iOS, and Android with the same account, which is nice if you're jumping between devices all day. And it supports over 40 languages. So if you're working internationally, you're covered. Now, let's talk about the price for a second. The free plan gives you three summaries per week for videos up to 30 minutes, which is honestly plenty if you're just testing it out. But if you're using it regularly, the pro version is only about five bucks a month if you pay yearly or 10 bucks if you go month to month. That's cheaper than a couple of lattes, and it'll save you way more time than standing in line at Starbucks ever will. Okay, here's my pro tip with 85. 
don't just stop at the summary. Always check the sentiment analysis because it gives you that extra layer of insight that no other tool provides. Think of it like reading the reviews before buying something on Amazon. It can save you from wasting time on videos that look great on the surface, but don't actually deliver the goods. Adify is perfect if you want more than just a summary. You want context, insight, and something polished you can actually use and share. It's built for professionals, but honestly, anyone who wants a cleaner, more strategic way of handling YouTube content will benefit from this one. And finally, number one. Number one on the list is Recall. And this one isn't just a summarizer. It's like your own personal knowledge base that keeps getting smarter the more you use it. Instead of just handing you one-off summaries like most tools do, Recall actually connects everything together. So if you're pulling in YouTube videos, articles, PDFs, even podcasts, Recall starts building a bigger picture of the topics that you're studying. And here's how it works. Every time you feed a content, Recall doesn't just store the summary, it links it to other pieces you've already added. Over time, you'll end up with a web of connected insights instead of a bunch of random notes sitting in different places. You can even chat with your collected summaries. So if you're like, hey, what were the main arguments across all of the videos I watched on this subject? Recall can actually pull that together for you. That's something none of the other tools do. It also has augmented browsing, which means while you're online reading or watching something new, it'll suggest related content from your knowledge base. So it's almost like having a research buddy that taps you on the shoulder and says, hey, this connects to that other thing that you watched last week. And if you're a visual person, the knowledge graph is super cool. It literally maps out how different concepts connect to each other. So you can see the bigger picture at a glance. Let me give you a real world example here. Say you're researching artificial intelligence. Normally you'd have a bunch of random videos, different summaries, maybe a few articles, but nothing ties it all together. With Recall, you get connections between concepts across multiple videos. You can spot where experts disagree and you can start to build an actual understanding of the whole field. That's way more valuable than just having a stack of summaries that don't talk to each other. Now, Recall does have both free and paid plans and the free tier gives you enough to test it out. But if you're serious about using it as your long-term learning system, the paid version is worth it because it removes a lot of the limits. And here's my tip with Recall. Don't just dump in random content. Pick one subject that you really want to get smarter in. Maybe it's AI, investing, marketing, whatever it is, and build around that one concept. The more focused you are, the more Recall can actually connect the dots for you. It's like building your own custom encyclopedia that only covers the stuff that you care about. So yeah, that's why Recall takes the number one spot in this video. It's not just about saving time on YouTube videos, it's about turning all that content into a real knowledge system that actually helps you learn and remember more in the long run. Now, before you run off and start throwing every video that you've ever saved into these tools, let's talk about some of the biggest mistakes I see people make here. Because if you don't use them right, you're not going to get the full value out of them. The first mistake is treating summaries like a total replacement for watching videos. Look, I get it, we all want shortcuts. But if you rely only on the summaries, you're missing the deeper learning. These tools are best for helping you figure out what's worth your time. Use the summary as a filter, then watch the full videos that actually matter to your goals. Think of it like reading a movie trailer. You don't skip the movie if it looks good, right? The second mistake is not customizing the prompts. Most people just take whatever default summary pops out, but tools like GLASP and NoteGPT actually let you shape the format. For example, instead of asking for just a summary, you could say, give me the top three takeaways for beginners, or what were the main arguments and counter arguments? That's how you go from a generic overview to something that feels like it was written just for you. Mistake number three is ignoring the transcripts. Everybody focuses on the summary, but honestly, the searchable transcript is where the real power is. Let's say you're writing a report and need a direct quote. You can search, find the line, and jump right into that exact moment in the video. No more dragging the progress bar back and forth like you're trying to crack a safe. Mistake number four is not using batch processing. If you're researching a topic, don't waste time summarizing one video at a time. NoteGPT lets you batch up to 20 videos in one shot. That way you get a broad perspective from different sources and you can spot patterns a lot faster. 
And the last mistake is forgetting about usage limits. Free tiers are awesome, but they all come with caps. Like NoteGPT uses one quota for every 10 minutes of video without subtitles. And 85's free plan only gives you three summaries a week for shorter videos. It's not a big deal if you know about it, but it can be frustrating if you don't. So always keep those limits in mind and decide if the paid version is worth it for you. All right, now I want to hear from you. Which of these tools are you most excited to try? Drop a comment below and let me know what type of YouTube content you spend the most time watching. Are you the type who always chases industry news, learning new skills, or maybe you're deep into academic research and you're just trying to keep your sanity while sorting through all of these long lectures? I read all the comments and I'd love to know exactly where these tools will actually make the biggest difference for you. And if this video helped you find tools that can literally save you hours every single week, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm always testing new AI productivity tools and bringing the best ones here so you don't waste your time testing 50 different options yourself. Oh, and here's a little pro tip before you go. Most of these tools play really well together. For example, you can use Glasp to grab a quick summary with different AI models, then drop that into Recall so it connects with everything else that you've been learning. And if you've got a pile of videos to work through, batch them all using NoteGPT. Mixing and matching them like that is how you really get the most out of these tools. And if you want the exact templates that I use for setups like this, plus a place to ask me questions directly, that's exactly what we do inside my school community. Check out the link in the description below for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to take this even further and dive into AI-powered productivity. Just click on the video to the left, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll see you there.